Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this episode of RV Life. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking with Lex and Ryan and taking a tour of their 1996 Winnebago Atasca. <laughs> All right, Lex, let's go in. Come on in. Okay. Wow, so, that's really cool. What did you do with the window here? So it's um, stained glass laminate that we put on um, to kind of make it more colorful, make it more fun and it's great because inside it reflects the colors when you're in there. Uh, on a nice sunny day, you get like cool vibes. All right. All right. So this is the inside cockpit, if you will. We have our, our driver's seat, passenger seat. Um, our Winnebago came with um, low bed up here. So it actually came with um, cabinets that we then painted and replaced the TV. You could see there was like one of the box 90s televisions like popped in there. Um, but we modernized it plenty of white paint coats, I mean, throughout the entire RV, but um, up here uh, to keep it nice and fresh. And then we continued our stained glass laminate on either side, um, again, to keep the vibe going. Also, also privacy. So we didn't want to use um, curtains. We felt that they were kind of dated. So with the stained glass, it's private, but it still allows light to get through. Nice. It looks like you guys did a lot of good work in here. So this is our dining table that also converts down into our guest bed, which we've had some guests come and meet us and friends and it's great to host people. Um, we have our blinds here, which is great, you know, privacy again, but um, just allowing, you know, light to come through. What everyone talks about is our copper walls and we love them. Um, it first came out of necessity to have something like strong attached to this wall here. Um, she's kind of old, so to really build her up and make it durable um, was kind of a goal and just get that shiny feel and kind of like our little tin box. You guys seem real artistic. On these benches, did you do the upholstery here? We did, yeah. So these are the original cushions. Um, and then we, it was just this older kind of blue um, fabric on everything that we had it um, reupholstered and we're totally fans of purple. So we had to have them purple. Um, to kind of match up with everything and even have our purple bins. So this is where we keep some of our food. We keep them all organized up here. Um, you know, any kind of dry foods up here. And underneath is all storage. We have, you know, our bin full you know, of cans or whatever. We have a Vitamix. So I love to cook while being on the road. Um, Vitamix blender. We have an electric kettle that we use because we usually have electric to plug into or could use the generator um, if we're boondocking or just out. Lex, let's take a look at your kitchen. Looks like you did some cool stuff in here too. Yeah, we, so we want to make it feel modern. Uh, we had done some house renovations in Philadelphia and we're in the mood of just making things look like how we wanted to live in them. So we have our laminate white Carrera marble top, marble countertops, um, painted the bottom, you know, a darker kind of slate color with the contrast of the white on top to kind of ground it and make it feel nice and airy. We have these lights that we installed Oh, it's look, it looks like you're at the club. Right? We have our little <laughs> party kitchen over here. Yep. Um, I like the purple. I'll keep those on for now. Um, this is all original. This was the good old 96 um, microwave and oven. The oven works great. We do not use the microwave. It's kind of old. And as far as finding a new one to fit, um, a little more complicated than we thought. So that just stays. This is also the original fridge and freezer. We put, again, a... Um, a laminate on it to make it look like it's our modern refrigerator and it's pretty big has a nice size here and our freezer too keeps everything cold it's all ran off propane so that was a cool thing with just rv life um that you can keep things cold with propane question about that when you're plugged in does it run off of electric or is it always on propane um i think it does off the electric when we plug in okay um, yeah just making sure because i know that's how ours is yeah i'm pretty sure the electric takes over but when we're driving that's the biggest thing we're like how does everything stay cold when you're on these big road trips and um yeah so the propane just kicks in and you actually have this little flame go off but it keeps it cool so it's it's a quirky little thing with rvs that's pretty fun and up here actually we have a lot of storage we make a lot of tea so a little magic teapot um your mate I have my cookbook, my Martha Stewart cookbook, and I make all these fun meals. We actually have a, a mini crock pot too. With RVs, I recommend a little crock pot inside because you can go out for a hike, for a surf, whatever you're feeling for your day outside, and then leave it plugged in without having to worry about it. 
Jennifer has a crock pot that she makes some real killer meals in. Yeah, the crock pot is a total RV must. I recommend that. I, I never crock potted at home, but like in the RV, 100. So good. All right. And then as you can see, this is um, our bedroom. <laughs> and uh, we've counted, we actually have all over about 21 pillows in this RV. It's only 24 feet long, but we had to have pillows um, to make it comfy. And um, yeah, again, cabinet space to keep things organized while we're moving. Um, everything goes in like baskets. So that's where our clothes go. And then in here, so our shades, so they kind of black out as well, which is nice, private. Um, get that fun pattern there. Should I show you the bathroom as well? Of course, we wanna see everything. All right, well, if you can get in here, this is like just the kitchen, kitchen. This is our bathroom. Uh, Again, laminate marble countertops and another laminate backsplash that we chose. I ordered some online to get colors that I wanted um, to go with the whole look and very clean and modern. Um, our paint jobs throughout our wipe, we also did tan to kind of contrast the white. Um, something you'd find in a newer house that you'd find in the city or wherever, really. Um, and this is our bathroom. You want to come in here. It's kind of on the tighter end, but... Again, the laminate, we are all about the laminates in here. We have our um, subway tile <laughs> laminate. And in here, like the wood to keep it feeling kind of earthy. And we use a bamboo um, kind of leveler out here in the shower. So in case it does fill up with water, uh, we have something to keep us out of it and nice and clean while you're in the shower. A bamboo leveler. Interesting idea. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, Lexi, thank you for taking us on this tour of this wonderful <laughs> RV. It seems like you guys did such a great job taking an older RV and making it lock new as your home. Thanks. You get an RV lock four stars for this. <laughs> nice. Lexi, a big part of our video vlog is teaching people how to make money on the road. And you have a really artistic, unique way of doing it that I want to show our viewers. All right. So... <laughs> Technically, I am a graphic designer, but I'm also an artist, and I create a lot of different um, products and fun festival accessories. So this is my new brand, Sun People, and I have these like festival crowns that a lot of the stuff actually I find while we're traveling. So these are um, shells and some crystals. There's amethyst in here. These shells, when we were down in Key West, I found these um, very like iridescent um, stones from Colorado out in Golden outside of Denver. Um, so it started as like mermaid shells with these um, in here and then I just kind of built off of it and um, kind of a fun way while we're traveling to get different materials and find them from all over the country. We left in last February and we've been on the road um, ever since. It's January now so it's almost been a year of um, being in RV life on the road and yeah, just like different materials. This was again in like Tennessee. I found it's a belt buckle, but um, I was like, this is just too cool. I can see it on top of a hat, so. Yeah, that's awesome. And if someone wanted to buy one of these off you, how would they go about doing it? So I have um, a website. It's wearesunpeople.com. Um, and I also have my blog. So Freshly Fantastic is about this whole journey about me kind of, and my fiance Ryan finding um, different materials as we travel and then also it's like so it's my creative outlet so it's how cooking food on the road and then finding stuff and it's all kind of correlated in the trifecta with Sun People, Freshly Fantastic and me as a designer. Those are some awesome I, I would call those a tiara. Yeah like a tiara I called them like crowns uh, different types of like this is like a mermaid crown so I could show you. And they kind of just strap right on and you can actually like rock out with them they have the headband on it so that's meant to be danced in go to festivals have fun enjoy yourself Lexi you guys did such a great job remodeling this place I'm so impressed Thanks. you know what would be great do you have any before pictures that we could share with our viewers yeah absolutely we um, spent months um, when we first bought this to renovate and it was very different a lot of just brown wood darker colors not as much light coming through um, I'll definitely share them with you here are some before pictures.
All right, Lex and Ron are heading out. Off to go live their best RV life. Yep, this is Lex and Ryan, living their best RV life. Everyone's got their life. Everyone's got their own life to live. Lexi and Ryan, this is how they're living theirs. RV life. And everyone, this is RV life, signing out.